The objective is to express metric mass measurements in terms of a smaller unit. We'll also be modeling and solving addition and subtraction problems involving metric mass. Here we're talking about mass. We are talking about mass of an object. With the metric system, we could be measuring within kilograms or grams, where one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Go ahead and copy this chart, and we'll work together to complete it. Pause that video while you're copying it. Okay, remember that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So when we look at the second line here, we have 3,000 grams, and we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, so we will need fewer of them. And it looks like it's grams are a thousand times smaller than a kilogram. So that if we had 3,000 grams, how many kilograms would that be? Did you say three? Write that in. Three kilograms does equal 3,000 grams. If we had seven kilograms, how many grams would that be? And you write that in. Did you say 7,000? When we had 9,000 grams, it would be how many kilograms? Right, nine. Nine kilograms does equal 9,000 grams. Kilograms, 12 of them, it would be a thousand times more or what? Twelve thousands, which equals what? Twelve, and how's it written, that is? Twelve thousand. So if we say the whole thing, that's twelve kilograms equals twelve thousand grams. So this is mass right here, and when we're talking about mass, we're talking about mm, the weight of an object, and then so we're talking about these within kilograms, and their equivalent grams, how much they would weigh. If we were just talking about one gram, we would be thinking of something like a paper clip would weigh about one gram. Where if we were thinking about a kilogram, if you thought about a liter bottle, that would be about one kilogram. Here we have another problem. I've written it horizontally from left to right. We have five kilograms plus 3,200 grams. Hmm, what do you notice here? You may notice that one of these is within kilograms and one of these is within grams. Much like we did when we were talking about distances, we are going to rename the kilograms to grams. We'll rename these kilograms to grams. So if we have five kilograms, how many grams does that equal? Well, remember that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So I actually have five of those. One, two, three, four, five, if I was to break that apart. So I have 5,000 grams equaling that 5 kilograms. I've renamed it. If I take 5,000 grams, then, and add it together with the 3,200 grams, I know that there's 3,000s here with another 5. That's 8,000s, and that's 8,200 grams. Now, let's go ahead and rename 8,200 grams so that we're renaming it into the number of kilograms that it would be and the number of grams. 8,200 grams is how many kilograms? Right, 8 kilograms for those 8,000s, right? Because 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams along with 200 grams. So 5 kilograms plus 3,200 grams 
is equal to 8 kilograms, 200 grams, where I was showing my work and solving that problem. Okay, it's your turn. Remember to rename each of these add-ends into grams, where 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Add them together, and then after you add them together to get the number of grams, I want you to remember to re-put it into the number of kilograms and the number of grams to express your answer that way. First step is to again to rename those units. 21 kilograms. Pause that video while you do your work. Well, let's start here. 21 kilograms is equal to 21,000 grams. And then so if we put that together with the 512, that would be 21,512 grams. When we add that together here, we rename that there to 7,613 grams. Did you do that first? You might have rewritten this so that this is up and down to be able to add them carefully. 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, 5 plus 6 is 11, place a 1, regroup a 1, 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9, and then I can place a 2 there. So this equals 29,125 grams. That's 29 thousands, which also is 29 kilograms, 125 grams. So I've renamed it and done my work there. And that is my answer that would be written right there. Here we have a word problem. Our operation for this word problem is going to be subtraction. It says, Sarah's backpack weighs 8 kilograms. She takes out a book that weighs 1 kilogram, 315 grams. How much does her backpack weigh now? Let's write a focused answer. So Sarah's backpack weighs 8. And I think it looks like we're going to answer our problem not only in kilograms, but kilograms with a certain amount of grams as well. So that's how I'll write our focused answer. Let's draw a tape diagram. This is Sarah's backpack, and it starts, and it weighs 8 kilograms. It looks like she takes out a book that weighs 1 kilogram, 315 grams. So from that backpack, we're going to take out that book that weighs 1 kilogram, 315 grams. So it looks like I'm solving for this here of how much her backpack weighs now. So I'm going to call that A for my variable. And then how would I solve for that? Looks like I would take 8 kilograms. And I would subtract 1 kilogram, 315 grams. Let's rename these. into grams. I cannot just go 8 minus 1 being 7 and then call this 7 kilograms 315 grams because what I'm really doing is I'm going 8 kilograms minus 1 kilogram which is 7 kilograms but then I'm also subtracting that 315 grams. Let's rename this all into grams. 8 kilograms is how many grams? Right. 8,000 grams. One kilogram along with 315 grams is 1,315 grams. If I write out that subtraction problem there, can you do that subtraction problem? Some of you might have paused the video. Some of you might have just continue to watch, 
where it is that that would be 6,685 grams. Renaming that, remember that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So that 6,685 grams equals 6 kilograms. That's one in the, in the thousands place there. And along with 685 grams. Read the whole sentence with me. Sarah's backpack weighs 6 kilograms, 685 grams. And then I should have put the word now. So this A here is 6 kilograms along with 685 grams. If I put these two together for my check, yes, 6 plus 1 is 7, 685 plus 315 would be 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams does equal 1 kilogram, so 1 kilogram with that 7 kilograms there does equal 8 kilograms. So you can answer word problems as well. One of the big things to do is to be able to rename from those larger units to those smaller units and to be able to do your operations correctly.